hey Toy Addicts, it's Jody. I got these two awesome trading card packs recently and I thought it would be cool to open these two together because they're both movies from the 80s, not anything like each other, but both in sort of a fantasy type realm. Um, both of these were movies that I liked a lot. Gremlins, you know, even though it was kind of a scary movie. I loved scary movies, but a lot of kids were kind of scared of it. But um, you had Gizmo here, and he was so cute that, you know, you could overlook Stripe. Even though he's up there lording over Gizmo in kind of a scary way. And this movie, Return to Oz, is just kind of a weird one. And it... Um, is of course sort of a sequel to The Wizard of Oz, but very different and very interesting. If you haven't seen this movie, you gotta check this movie out. I assume you've seen Gremlins. Um, I mean, everyone's seen that, right? But you've gotta check out Return to Oz. It was a, it's a really cool movie. And this is Dorothy and her chicken, Belina. So let's check out the Return to Oz cards first. Let me get them open here. All these little wax packages because they're usually pretty easy to open. Uh oh, let's stay focused here, camera. Uh oh, don't tear. So, of course, we have to. Ew, gross. The gum looks really I mean it usually still looks pretty pink when you open these packages but it's definitely not and it's doesn't typically ruin a card but yeah it looks disgusting uh, not that we we're gonna try it but <laughs> yuck so um oh and it looks like it's kind of left a film on the cards too that's too bad uh, this one looks like a sticker that's cool and it is our heroine dorothy and then on the back it shows the puzzle that looks like 1985 walt disney production i didn't know that was a disney movie So there's little Dorothy, and this is says imagination is the key. It's also a sticker one, and it's Dorothy looking through a keyhole, so you can see it kind of um, uh, reflected on her face. And then here's her this puzzle piece of her and the chicken. This is the Gump. He was a you can kind of see his plaque here. He's a talking um, taxidermy. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, In the Country Bear Jamboree, you know? So I guess maybe, yeah, Disney. And then there's um, another puzzle piece. And then we have our little scarecrow guy. And on the back here, it, sh it says, oh no, who, I mean, what are you? Strange creatures known as wheelers race after Dorothy. So these kind of weird, scary guys have, uh, you can kind of see down there, they have wheels on their feet. And they were very scary. Worse than flying monkeys, I think. There's Dorothy at the gates. Again, holding her chicken. The sinister head nurse chases Dorothy and her friend to the river's edge. But both little girls are drawn into the raging currents and carried out to sea. My friend, where are you? Mm. She looks pretty evil, doesn't she? Dorothy is rescued from the electrical machine by her little friend. 
So as I can recall in this movie, Dorothy was in a asylum, probably because she told everyone about Oz and they didn't believe her. And they were going to give her electric shock therapy. There's our Return to Oz cards, or stickers. It looks like they're all stickers, I think, on the front. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six stickers, which is pretty neat. And then let's check out the Gremlins. This one's actually kind of already open a little bit. And see that gum? It is stuck, but it looks pink still. I mean, honestly, this probably looks exactly like it looked in the 80s when you would have gotten these trading cards and would have put it, popped it right in your mouth. Ugh. And then chewed on it for a few seconds before it kind of broke into smithereens and then you spit it out. <laughs> so it looks like you got a lot more cards or stickers in this one. Okay, let's start out with this sticker. This is not Gizmo. This is one of the little Mogwai that popped off his back. Oh, and there's a piece of the puzzle card there. We have them upside down. Here's the Mogwai. The original Mogwai, Gizmo, when uh, the main character, Billy's dad, went and picked him up for Christmas. Um, let's see what it says on the back of this one. The old man's grandson takes Rand into a back room and shows him a mogwai, a cute but unearthly little creature. Behind the old man's back, the boy sells the mogwai to Rand. And the final warning. He leaves the shop and the boy whispers the final warning. Keep him away from light. Don't get him wet. And the most important thing, never, never feed him after midnight. There's the caged mogwai. And then this just is like the main card. 82 cards, 11 stickers. Oh, look how sad. Welcome to the mysterious, sometimes terrifying, always outrageous world of gremlins. They're multiplying. Oh no, they got in the pool. Oh, that's the one the gum was stuck to. Billy watches in horror as Stripe dives into the pool. The way gremlins multiply in water, there'll be a small army of the little demons to contend with. Our friends are relieved that after all of the gremlins are killed in the explosion. All that is, except one. Oh, that's right, the gremlins were watching Snow White. <laughs> and they tore up the movie theater. Oh, and they're attacking Billy. Oops. Ugh. So in the movie, um, his dad is like an inventor, and so he's got all these crazy inventions in the kitchen, and they use all these crazy inventions to kill the gremlins. 
And the grossest scene I remember in the movie was when they put one of them in the microwave and turned it on until it popped. Ooh. We work together at the bank. The girl of his dreams, Kate Berenger. <laughs> But you got, let's see, one sticker in this, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. So, realistically, if you weren't getting any doubles, which of course you would, but if you weren't getting any doubles, you'd only have to buy eight packs of these and get the whole set. Let's see, does it say on the front how much they were? I think it said on the box that they still had there that they were 59 cents. So if you didn't get any doubles, well, I guess you'd have to buy at least 11 packs to get all the stickers. But, you know, some of these things, it's like kids had to invest a lot of money to get all the cards. And of course, you know, if your friends had them too, then you traded with your friends. But I don't know, that didn't seem to happen that often. It wasn't like you could bring toys to school to trade or anything, but I don't know. These are a pretty neat set with some pretty neat scenes. Okay, guys, which one was your favorite? Which do you pick? Which movie did you like better? Do you like Return to Oz better? Or do you like the Gremlins better? Which which two of these was a movie that you enjoyed the most? Tell me down in the comments. And then, let's see. This is definitely my favorite Return to Oz sticker here. The Gump. That's a really cool one. And... Hmm... Which Gremlins card is my favorite? Oh, the poor little Mogwai in the cage. That's probably the one right there. I wish there was a gizmo in the Barbie car. That's probably my favorite scene. <laughs> Alright guys, make sure and like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Check out my um, blog, toy-addict.com. I put links to all the videos up there, or some of the videos up there, but then I also put information about um, other stuff and cool things I find and, and scans of books and stuff. So there's more content there than you'll find on the videos. And then you can also check me out on eBay and Etsy, and I'm even on Instagram and Facebook. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.